Okay, so we have two signs left. Cancer, you jumped out, but you guys, you two may be dealing with each other. If not, have been dealing with each other in the past, or you guys could be dealing with each other very soon. For some reason, you two have been jumping out together a lot. I don't know who that's for, but hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. I'll be doing your August messages here today. Um, we're going to take a look here and see what your overall energy will be in the next two weeks. Energies coming towards you, energies that are um, around you at this time, something you need to know, and also something about your person. Um, when it comes to this person, I'll be looking at what happened to you guys in the past, what's going on between you two right now in the present, and what's coming towards you guys in the near future. Just keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it's not a one-on-one -on -one personal reading at this time there will be some things that i'll pick up on in this reading that may not resonate with you but if you happen to be that cancer i'm strongly picking up on in this reading here today just know that i have no control over that either i'm going to read it to you guys the way it's coming out but please don't shoot the messenger here if this is not the best cancer reading you've ever received from me or ever in your life i'm going to do my best here to um really focus on the positive but I'm, I'm still a realist so you know i'm not going to just naively tell you all the uh, butterflies and the whistles and the sunshine and the um butterflies sunflowers all that stuff you know um if ooh as I'm rambling on, spirits like get to your reading. We have a soulmate here. We're talking about okay. Hmm, what's going on here for my Cancerians? We have the Two Cups first starting card. Okay, this is no small reading. This is no small connection. This is a pretty serious soulmate spiritual one too maybe one with many deep soul lessons you have may have you may have seen quite a bit of synchronicities you'll be seeing them soon as well tell me about what's going on here for cancer please thank you what's actually coming towards them what's going on in cancer's love life right now what's something that they need to know Justice. Um. Okay, this really wants to stay reversed, so we'll keep it that way. Cancer, I'm getting for you guys. There's somebody you want you can't have. There's somebody you're with you're not sure about. There's someone you want to leave but you don't know what to do. Because maybe this is a, a family member. This could be a close friend. This could be an ex-lover. This could be your boyfriend. This could be your girlfriend. This could be your person of interest. I am picking up on three different scenarios here. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm getting. Some of you really want to leave a situation, maybe leave your home, maybe move out, just kind of pack up your stuff and go, you know, you're feeling unwanted, feeling un unappreciated. Like I'm getting here. There's somebody you want to leave behind, but you feel like you can't justice at the center of your reading all you're wanting here is like you're just telling universe man universe why me why is why is this happening to me right now i just want things to be fair you know it's not like you 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 want the upper hand it's just you kind of want 
I feel like for for some for somebody here, I'm picking up on a specific cancer. I cannot expect this to be going on for every single cancer, but this is what it just immediately it tapped me into is just cancer is like, when is it going to be my turn? Or, you know, why is all of this happening to me right now? I just want justice, you know? Things that have been happening to you maybe wasn't even your doing, maybe wasn't even your fault, but you got entangled up in it somehow. So there's someone here that you want to be with that you can't be with. There's someone here that you're with right now or maybe currently seeing, dating, talking to, who you're not even really that romantically interested in. But something is kind of working out between the two of you. So we have justice, the four of swords, and we have the fool. I get here like you really just kind of want to move forward right now. You don't really want to deal with this person anymore. You kind of know what they're about. Seven of swords, five of pentacles. They, they kind of said some things to you that felt like a betrayal. Or it felt like it was, you know... A low blow you know something that was a little bit uncalled for something that was said so rudely or so uh, just I don't know tell me about this energy why am I getting that there's three situations here it's funny here how I did the kind of like the same thing here for Scorpio Scorpio picked up on two different situations you guys could be dealing with a, another water sign here Cancer Scorpio Pisces I have Libra I have Taurus Virgo Capricorn I have Aries and Scorpio so some of you um but for I brought up Scorpio because I split up their reading and I hadn't done that in any other sign and you guys now gave me three different things that I'm seeing here so I'm just following kind of what my guides are showing me and kind of going out of my original plans for you I guess some um, this is what I need to see right now for you guys. The situation that you kind of want to leave, but you feel like you can't, we're going to talk about that. There's also somebody here you want, but you feel like you can't have. Here we have the Two of Cups. There's something here about this person. Then there's somebody here that you're with right now. You're not even really that attracted to them, or there's something about them that just isn't doing it for you, <laughs> okay? And you're just like, man, maybe it's just time for me to just pack up and leave and just leave everything behind maybe some of you guys are even thinking about traveling moving going somewhere new somewhere different maybe this is work maybe this is a relocation or maybe just travel you know I do see here with the page of cups I mean you do kind of like them the bond between the two of you is are is deepening but yeah with the five of cups here and the four of swords here I am getting here. There's a little bit of sadness. There is somebody here I'm picking up strongly. It's just not, not, they're not happy with their current situation. You know, not like anything is intensely wrong in their life. Maybe just there's something missing in the love department for you. Some of you, you feel even with this person, even though you're with them physically, even in their company, you feel alone. Some of you, you don't feel that passionate, you know, connection you once did. Perhaps there's just like this, like, you know, very, I, I'm getting for some reason, like a roommate, homey vibe. But with the five of pentacles, with the seven of swords, tell me about this. Why is this coming up? What does cancer need to know about this at this time? When it comes to wanting to move out, wanting to leave temperance in reverse really try to you know compose or control or temper your emotions at this time cancer don't in other words don't don't make an impulsive decision or take an impulsive action maybe this is in regards to a family friend a family member a close friend you really want to call somebody out for something but you're just watching Okay, and there's some, you care for this person, you really do. Okay, and this could be a mother, children, family for some of you, but there is also this two of cups person. Tell me about Cancer's two of cups. Tell me about this person that Cancer wants to be with, but they can't be with, because their energy is showing up here in your reading right now, Cancer. 
Wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune for you guys as your message. There's something here that's faded, that's in the wind. There's a change in the wind here for you guys. This is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune brings about many, many changes. It's saying what was what was seemingly dead over, there's going to be some kind of positive change, okay, forward momentum, you haven't heard from this person, all of a sudden you hear from them, you guys been blocked, you guys are in separation, you guys broke up, all of a sudden, you know, I don't know, they get like this, like, desire to reach out to you and to reconnect with you somehow for some reason, or that you guys may actually, the universe might even bring the two of you together, cross paths them out, bring you guys to the same place, you know, <laughs> like, just kind of unexpectedly bump into this person, and I know that happens. That happened to me so many times. And it was kind of ridiculous, kind of frightened, scared the shit out of me when I was trying to, like, move on from somebody. Um, all I saw was just them, like, constantly everywhere. And even when I went out, um, you know, to go kind of go for a drive, and I meant, like, far, like, I would take, like, you know, sometimes I would drive at the time, like, 30, 40, an hour, two-hour trips, on my way back, for some reason, I decided I wanted to stop in for a smoothie. Guess who I saw? I saw him. It was the craziest thing. Like, it was so awkward. And that happened not only just once or twice or three times. It happened to me four times. And I know there's a very spiritual twin flame soulmate connection you have to somebody right here. Because this was the same exact energy I kept seeing in my own reading. It's like the timing wasn't right, but I don't know, for some reason the universe is trying to bring the two of you guys together. There's like unfinished business here for somebody here, Cancer. It's not over. This guy, this woman, whoever this is that you want, that you know deep down in your soul, is there's nobody else for you, okay? Like you haven't fully been able to move on to anybody else. Maybe you have, well... I do see here you're probably with somebody, but you're really not that interested. There's somebody here that still resides in your heart, in your heart place. <clears throat> what did I just say? There's somebody here that still resides in your heart space. That's someone that you still love. Um, this person is coming towards you, is coming back. They're just moving very slowly at this time. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Could be another water sign for some of you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, I've already kind of said them. This Wheel of Fortune here, Four of Pentacles here with the Magician. I'm, I'm seeing here this, this person knows what they want. They, they secretly desire you too. They want to take action here. Okay. They want to tell you, see, I'm getting the infinity sign, y'all. This is a very strong soulmate here. You guys are both kind of holding back and both kind of playing hard to get. Both acting as if you guys don't care for each other. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please. But remember, the heart of your reading, something is going to be balanced out, made right. There's not going to be a loser and winner, okay? If everybody's going to get their share here. Whether this is in regards to money, a, a payment, a favor, a loss of some sort. You, you, there's something karmically being rewarded to you, for you, okay? Coming in for you, that's going to make you feel a lot better, in other words, okay? All of a sudden, it's like, okay, yeah, that will do. That, that will work for now. You're going to be pretty happy, excited about this, especially with Wheel of Fortune and Justice and the Magician here. This King of Wands person, oh my God, I told you, this is a very significant soulmate, y'all. <clears throat> things were really passionate between the two of you some of you this was a very casual relationship before in the past you fell in love with someone here who couldn't commit and this person could have been a serial bachelor with the page of cups king of wands coming through this person was either involved with somebody else or they just didn't have a desire to be in the relationship at the time but I don't know, you're the person that they see as the two of cups, and I'm not just making that up right now. It's clearly in your reading, okay? Someone here that you love, the two of cups came out twice. I saw that right there, and it fell out in that position here, too. I was like, there's someone you love, but you feel like you can't be with. Um, 
This could be someone here who was um, maybe involved with another person in the past. They are breaking free from it. We have the magician here. And we have the wheel of fortune. You guys get a second chance. Maybe even the third, fourth chance for some of you. You're not going to be sad here. The hangman in reverse. Making that decision no longer tied up to an old situation or a person. Okay, and this, let's take a look here about this person that you want to leave, but you're not leaving. You kind of like, but you're not really that crazy about. <laughs> Let me see here what's going on here with this person. Thank you. <laughs> look how crazy the messages are. We got the two of cups on this side, and look what fell out on this side. I'm telling you, you can't make this up. The three of swords and the eight of swords. You're maybe wanting to leave them. You're maybe sick of the situation because they're not really leaving their person. For some of you, you may be dealing with a third party situation on both sides. But I do see here someone's think getting ready. This this situation between you and somebody who you're really not that into. I don't get that you two. Um, at this time is showing you guys are going to last. Mm -mm. Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. This is a breakup situation where you guys are kind of reaching that end where they are. Somebody here is wanting to end things with you, tired of arguing, tired of fighting. They're even saying like, God, I don't know. This is what I mean. This is what always happens. This is like you know, this is what you do, or this is what you always say, this is just what always happens, why am I getting that, devil, yeah, devil and the eight of cups, this always is what happens, this is what causes the fight, this is what causes the scene, um, whether this is coming from you or from them, but someone's packing up their stuff and leaving, they're leave getting, could be you, could be them, but I also see here, there's somebody here, it's like universe is trying to make space for you and somebody to come back together, because this is an energy here of, uh, I really want to look into this, it's like, some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, I keep seeing earth, got Sagittarius, Aries here as well, if I didn't mention that, tell me about this two cups person, I want to look at also your dreams. If you have been getting dreams, chariot, there you are, four of wands, this two of cups person. Okay, we have we have Capricorn, victory, lovers, four of wands, chariot, and the six of pentacles. Wow. There was a really toxic situation before. I mean... You scare them, they scared you, <laughs> okay? Um, something was a bit scary, unfortunate that happened, but here we have the Six of Wands and the Lovers for you, Cancer. I do see here there's a successful reconciliation. Yes, you will end up marrying this person is what I'm getting. We have the marriage card 1111. I see a lot of synchronicities here in your reading. And when I get that, it's that spirit's way of telling me that this is a very significant soulmate twin flame relationship. One with deep soulful lessons to be learned. You may have been seeing a lot of synchronicities in your life or since you met this person or will be seeing them very soon. They are traveling or somebody here will be traveling. They're kind of on the move. They're thinking about you here even while driving. I don't know. That was a very sad. Look at that. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. It's what Spirit is saying. Stop denying it get this relationship a chance or perhaps this was to your person's like both of you guys desire each other and very passionately like you guys both feel like there's nobody else before you before them let's see here if uh cancer have you been dr having weird dreams let's see what kind of uh, messages here for cancer in regards to because i feel like this is a very um like I saw the house earlier here too. This is interesting. This is coming up for you guys twice. You could be moving home. There could be a purchase of a home. A, somehow a house is very significant to you. This may be in regards to um, an inheritance. Some of you could be in real estate. I'm also getting here. Someone is um, getting a house or moving soon. Okay, something here to 
do with where they reside or will be relocated or something here to do with property value or a certain property okay um you may have been dreaming also of living in this house with this person. You could see yourself in the kitchen, you know, just kind of renovating or remodeling something for some of you. I see here you were hoping this person would just wake, awaken or stop running from their problems and give this relationship a chance. This person, yeah, this is what Spirit is saying. Um, we have you guys are acting like you guys are strangers right now. There will be a payment. You may be looking at making a payment. They could actually be also someone who you get services from, whether you pay for the services. I don't know if it's like your dentist, your chiropractor. Um, maybe you met this person at the store. They helped you out um, while you were making a purchase or something. Something here about a purchase, just large purchase, small or large, actually really doesn't matter. But there's something here about someone wanting to either offer you their services, help you with something you're doing. Um, as I'm seeing here, someone wants to buy something also. You maybe met them in the store when you were shopping. You kind of just saw them buy something or you may have you, you had a dream about them helping you out or helping you find something, helping you get back home, maybe you needing a ride. Okay, uh, but perhaps this person is also, you felt like, in your dream, this person kind of felt like a stranger. Or, so there's a stranger here. What's this stranger about? Okay, this person is light-skinned, dark-skinned. You have, you're, you have a dealing, you have, you be dealing with a, a guy with blonde gray or white hair soon. You have romance coming up, celebration or a party. Um, we do have a helpful advice coming from a friend. If you need a reading, reach out. Um, I also have crown candle, weeping willow in the hand, yeah, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. You guys are going to be able to help each other out. You'll be shown the way, okay? Um, so I don't know why this is very spiritual here. Some of you need to get a message here. You have too much concern. Someone has too much concern with sexual matters. They're feeling very horny. We got the horny rabbit. You guys, I don't know what you're giving me here, Cancer, but there's a lot of message here. But honor and respect will come to you. I feel like that was what that justice is about. You're wearing your crown and you're wearing it high. Don't let the energies around you affect where it is you want to go okay take care or there will be a loss of material wealth um there's somebody here maybe children are trying to i don't know i'm just gonna leave it that i, I don't want to get into it too personal because this is a general reading and i'm seeing a lot of some more personal messages in here I really want to look at one more thing for you. We're going to close up this reading, okay, Cancer? I want to ask about this Two of Cups. Queen of Cups again. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Cancer, I rest my case. You are the Queen of Cups. Male or female, general readings don't matter. You are the Queen of Cups coming out. Emotional fulfillment. And your wish coming true is the nine of cups okay emotional fulfillment getting what you need getting a wish granted and saying yes your dreams are coming true mm -hmm. ace of swords that crown is coming through again okay you have a lot of synchronicities here and synchronicities was all i saw Jeez, okay. If you like a personal reading from me, don't be shy. Reach out if you want to look into your person, how they're currently thinking and feeling when it comes to you. We can, or if you have any, uh, maybe other questions in regards to your current situation right now, we can also take a look at it. Just send me an email and I'll respond with instructions on how to book. You can take advantage of the lover special that I currently have right now at this time for only $33.33. Or if you like, we can uh, do an energy update for you. Cancer, thank you guys so much for your time. I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy this and hope this video helped. This reading helped. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Cancer.